Next topic is the uronic acid pathway. It is an alternate pathway of the oxidation of glucose like HMP pathway. This pathway is also called as glucuronic acid pathway. And this pathway is mainly concerned with the synthesis of glucuronic acid, pentosis and ascorbic acid which is vitamin C. And if we talk about the site, it takes place in cytosol. And now let us discuss about the reactions of the pathway. Glucose 6-phosphate is converted to glucose 1-phosphate in the presence of an enzyme phosphoglucomutase. And the glucose 1-phosphate leads to the synthesis of UDP glucose by the enzyme UDP pyrophosphorylase. Till here, reactions are same as glycogenesis. And the UDP glucose from this step is oxidized to UDP glucuronate in the presence of an enzyme UDP glucose dehydrogenase. Here, one molecule of NADH is synthesized and the UDP glucuronate on hydrolysis loses its UDP moiety to form D-glucuronate in the presence of an enzyme glucuronidase in this reaction. So here, this D-glucuronate reduces to L-gulonate in the presence of an enzyme glucuronate reductase. Here, one molecule of NADP is produced. So the L-gulonate has two parts. One leads to the synthesis of ascorbic acid and other leads to the formation of pentosis which ultimately enters into the HMP cycle. And in the part one you can see over here that the L-gulonate on dehydration gets converted into L-gulonolactone which in turn converted into 2-keto L-gulonolactone in the presence of an enzyme gulonolactone oxidase. And ultimately this 2-keto L-gulonolactone is used for the synthesis of L-ascorbic acid that is vitamin C. And note an important point over here that this step, the synthesis of ascorbic acid is absent in humans and other primates and uh, pigs. Hence, vitamin C is essential diet in the human beings. And another part which is part 2, you can see here that the L-gulonate in this pathway oxidized to 3-keto-gulonate. Here, the second molecule of NADH is produced. So, 3-keto-gulonate is decarboxylated to pentose that is L-xylulose. So, L-xylulose is reduced to xylitol in the presence of an enzyme xylitol dehydrogenase with the liberation of second molecule of NADP in the cycle. So, the xylitol is oxidized to D-xylulose with the liberation of third molecule of NADH in the pathway. So, the D-xylulose gets phosphorylated to xylulose 5 phosphate which finally enters into hexose monophosphate shunt for further metabolism to take place. And what are the effects of drugs on the uronic acid pathway? Administration of the drugs such as barbitol increases the uronic acid pathway to synthesis more glucuronate from glucose. And the drugs like uh, aminopyrene, antipyrene enhance the synthesis of ascorbic acid production in rats. And what is the clinical significance? Here the UDP glucuronate is metabolically very active. It is used in conjugation of many substances like bilirubin, steroid hormones and also detoxification of drugs. It is also utilized for the synthesis of glycosaminoglycans and proteoglycans. And what is essential pentoseurea? It is the inborn error of metabolism. The defect is mainly because of the deficiency of an enzyme xylitol dehydrogenase. Due to this enzyme defect, L-xylulose cannot convert it into xylitol. And the affected individual is usually asymptomatic but excrete large amounts of L-xylulose in the urine, hence gives positive benedict test. So this excretion can be increased by the administration of drugs like aminopyrin and antipyrin. By this we completed this topic that is uronic acid pathway.